<laughs> Hello and welcome to a tiny little let's play of Mighty Jill Off or whatever this freaking game is called. Um, so what it basically is, uh, it's a platformer, just like, I don't know, like Meat Boy and all that uh, stuff. And the reason I'm, I'm playing this is actually Meat Boy because Jill, this lovely Jill right here, that bondage girl, I don't know why she's such a bondage girl and why she was just licking that boot, but still, um, she's actually in Super Meat Boy and that's the reason I'm playing this because I just wanted to figure out where she's actually coming from and yeah, this is an indie game, as you might uh, imagine, and it's all about you basically are some like bondage girl that got kicked down a freaking tower and now you have to climb back up again and I haven't played this game before except for the first couple of rooms like this one and um, now I'm gonna try to get through this game and I believe you can't even save so it's gonna be one setting only and for like the game mechanics it's basically except for the directional keys it's just one button that's the jump button and with that you can if you hit it once you jump as high as possible you can't do like a short jump except you hit the key again once you are in mid-air and then she falls and if you like keep hitting that button she slowly floats downwards and that's basically what this game is all about and I just fell through that maybe I should have like floated like I like that so let's see and I th believe every time the color switches um, that there's a checkpoint there and I just died so let's see yeah there's a checkpoint there so let's see how I don't think I'm gonna like I'm gonna do it like that because that's much easier so, okay and just like Meat Boy, this is supposed to be pretty. Fuck! It's. Oh my god. It's supposed to be pretty hard, and I believe that it is. For example, like that, I had to like stop midair, which is not the easiest thing to do. Oh my god! Oof, that was close. And, um. Also, like. After playing Meat Boy, and as I'm recording this, I'm not through the game yet. I, I haven't beaten it yet. Um, I just become in like I became interested in these kind of games because they're. I feel like they're or what? I don't mean I feel like they are really good games because it's like these indie games. They have this certain like feeling a like certain sense of ooh, ah, okay this is how far I got um, first time playing this so what I was trying to say is that freaking indie games holy sh um, they are basically games by gamers for gamers and it's nice to like play that because um, the whole the gameplay is so, um, what should I call it? It's so, it's so, oh my god. Like, it's so tight that it just becomes so much fun automatically. And that's probably the reason I'm going to, uh, soon be playing a lot more of these. So I, for example, want to try or I'm not sure if I want to try Gish actually the other game made uh, that's that was made by the guy that made or one of the guys that made Super Meat Boy but I definitely definitely want to play um, The Binding of Isaac soon which is another game by fucking shit <laughs> another game by him and 
Um, I can't wait to p finally play that, but I can't really play it on my Xbox, so I have to like download it on Steam and all that, which I usually don't do all that often. But for this game, I might I might go ahead and do that actually. And I hope I'm not gonna die again, cause like getting up there is pretty long. Although I don't know what to do with them. Like, oh god, I got it. And there's a checkpoint again. Great. Right, so far I'm not doing too bad, which is crazy considering how bad I fuck. Okay, how bad I do at um, Super Meat Boy. Let's see. Ooh. Well, wow, that's one hell of a jump. No, 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 no. Like, I'm trying to jump as late as possible, so I can get the most out of that jump. Oh god, okay. Alright. No, that's not gonna work, shit. Please don't tell me that I have to. Oh, that's, that's a quite decent checkpoint, actually. There we go. Oh, almost. Yeah. And let's see what other games, like I looked into some of um, of those games and they're all like, the ratings for them, they're all so like high and good and so far, like after playing some of them, I, um, I can just freaking agree because these games are really like what I would recommend to somebody that, oh, fuck. Why am I dying right here? Like, over and freaking over again. Oh, God. Oof, okay, got it. And, um... Yeah, I would... Re fuck! <laughs> Although they're... Freaking difficult as shit. And you will die. Over and over again. I would recommend, like, any of these to anyone because god damn it like why is this so freaking difficult just because I don't hit that freaking space key like fast enough I lose too much like air okay I want to be as close as possible and then get over there and freaking all right now Oh, another one. Please, oh. Okay, now, can I land? Awesome. Oh god, that doesn't look good. Please, just freaking make it. Freaking. Oh god, I made it. Okay, that's some serious business right here. Spike mania, or what? What the fuck? <laughs> like that other thing is probably just like kindergarten compared to this shit. Can I? Ooh, I can. Okay. No! Like that even works. I hate that in games usually. Like when you just like walk, like you barely touch freaking spike and you die anyways although it like it didn't really impale you at all because you're just touching the side of it I can go all the way can I yeah oh this looks shit <laughs> god that didn't look good or oh, that doesn't look good at all because it, <laughs> it might take me some time god damn it ah uh... And I can imagine that this game doesn't really look all that difficult, like watching it, because I looked into, like, I watched some YouTube videos, and um, it didn't really look as difficult as it is right now playing it. Because, uh, like, the way you can have to control her is really odd, because you. You're freaking doing like these high jumps only. Like there's no tiny little I don't know, like practice jump, so to say. 
It's all like freaking full on <sighs> skyscraper high jumps that are really hard to control. God damn it. Alright, there we go. So now. I don't know about this. Oh god, I got it. Freaking got it. Where do I have to. L oh. I can actually land right there. Oh. Can you put me right there? Nope, that wasn't high enough. What is going on down here? Oh god. Okay, now I gotta freaking hit that button like a freak. No. No, I'm so freaking stupid. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, now hit that button like a freak. Mash it, mash it, mash it, mash it. What? Did I? I just warped for like a freaking foot and a, another one. <sighs> okay, now keep mashing that, keep mashing that shit. And please, please make it this time. Okay. There we go. And there's another checkpoint. For God's sake, this is really getting tough. Oh, that was stupid. Alright, Jill. Little bondage girl. Like, I can't believe... Like, this is such a... Weird story behind that. Like, I don't know what's about that if, like, the... Developer of this had... Somewhat of a fetish. Why can I get up there? Like, that's so hard to control with, like, the arrow keys. Jesus. I'm gonna... Oh my god, I'm gonna be stuck there forever. God damn it. <laughs> no. Ooh. Like, these tight spaces, that's... Freaking... That's freaking shit. That's fri Ooh. I can't believe... I just made that. And what am I supposed to do now? Oh. God, please no. Although I'm gonna trick him quite easily. And another checkpoint, I hope. I have the feeling that I'm finally, finally getting there. I hope this is not uh, too many episodes. This might just be one, because I have totally lost track of time as of right now. And I don't really know. Can I activate him? Like. Can you please move a bit? Friend? Oh, I'm gonna jump over him. That works as well. Wow, that was bossy. That was freaking boss. And that was freaking wrong decision.